So did you know that for nearly 75 years, KSL-TV has been broadcasting the Days of 47 Parade? It's a legacy that we're proud to be a part of. Dan Spindle shares the story from the early years and some of the amazing things they did to make it work. The Days of 47 Parade is the crown jewel of all parades, and KSL-TV has been a part of that tradition since the early days of television. On July 1st, 1949, KSL-TV began its first ever broadcast from a building on the corner of South Temple and Main Street. The first program aired was a cartoon and a puppet show called Lucky Pup. Arthur Godfrey was popular then, and at 9.30 at night, KSL would sign off the air with a weather forecast and a news program that lasted all of five minutes. Just weeks later, on July 24th, the station would televise its first ever remote broadcast from the streets of Salt Lake City. The annual Days of 47 parade would be brought into the homes of those fortunate few who actually had television sets. Years ago, KSL News anchor Dick Norris reminisced with some of the early television pioneers who helped make this happen. The thrill of it, you knew that everything you did was never been done before. Yeah. I guess the first uh, remote we ever did was the 24th of July parade. Now, this was just a month after we were on the air. We didn't have uh, extra cameras. We only had studio cameras. And so we took one camera and took the cord and dropped it down to Main Street in front of Warren TV, put a camera there. And then we took the other camera. We didn't have any more uh, uh, line, so we took the other camera, took it out on the ledge on the sixth floor, and uh, right on the corner above uh, uh, Brigham Young Monument, and put it on there so you had a bird's eye view directly down on the, on the parade. And we knew nothing about filters, but had no experience with outside lighting. And I remember uh, they stretched a phone out to me. These broadcasting pioneers had to invent equipment and develop technique on the spot. There were no schools, no books had been written. Yeah, those were the days of heartache and, and uh, experimentation. During those first days and weeks, everything was an experiment. Prior to this time, only those in attendance could watch the parade. And now, over seven decades later, KSL continues the proud tradition broadcasting the parade. Now millions have had the opportunity of experiencing it. The history is pretty incredible, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that amazing how, how far we've come? I can't imagine taking studio cameras, having a cable. Holding a phone. And, oh, my goodness. Holding a phone, yeah.